Hello. Today I'll be taking you through the range of artists' synthetic hog brushes and sharing why you would choose one brush head or shape and size over another. This brush is good for when you want a stiffer bristle that will retain brush marks. The innovative synthetic bristles here replicate the flags of a natural hog bristle, allowing for excellent colour carrying capacity. I'm going to start with the filbert brush in size 10. These are great brushes for covering a large area and for blending two colours together. You can see the amount of colour this brush can carry, which allows me to lay out a base quickly. I'm using Cadmium Free Red and Cadmium Free Yellow Artist Oil colour here. The synthetic brush performs on par with the natural. I'm using both here, one on each colour. The stiffer quality of the brush also makes it a great choice for blending, like this. Filbert is one of my favourite shapes because it can be used on the broad side for an oval-shaped wide mark. And, as you can see here, you can flip it on its side for a narrower mark, which makes the brush uniquely versatile. To increase the flow, I have added blending medium to the oil colour. Here's a synthetic hog flat brush in size 8. It has a square-shaped head for creating a broad mark with an edge. I'm working with Cadmium Free Pale Green, mixed with liquid for fluidity. As you can see, the marks are easy to control and great for specific shapes. And if you work in thick paint, you'll retain your brush marks. When you want defined lines, the round size 6 is a great choice. Use this brush when you want to experiment with more precise marks. This is Cadmium Free Green and Cadmium Free Orange. Here I'm using both natural and synthetic hog, so you can see the marks that are possible with both brushes. Now, onto the 2 inch glazing brush. These colours are dry and ready for another layer. I'll add a glaze in cadmium free red. Glazing adds a lovely luminosity to colour and is a great method for working in layers over dry colour to change the value and hue. I hope you enjoyed learning about synthetic hog brushes and which shape and size to reach for, depending on what you want to achieve in your work.